Hello everyone, we will continue the topic internal table operations and so far we covered append, loop, delete, modify, read table. Now we will cover clear and refresh internal table operation. Means we can clear the contents of internal table, we can refresh the contents of internal table using which particular internal table operation, clear or refresh. You can use any one of this internal table operation. And Bird itself is saying clear or refresh means you are setting the, you are setting the contents of internal table to zero. Suppose my internal table has 10,000 records. And after that, I am writing clear internal table or I am writing refresh internal table. Then internal table contents will be set to zero. There is nothing in the internal table after that. So we can clear or we can refresh the content of internal table using which particular internal table operations clear or refresh. Suppose if I will do the practical for the same. I will comment now read table operations. I'll comment the logic for read table. We have five records in the internal table. And I'm displaying those five records. Suppose my internal table has five records. Up to this level, we inserted five records in the internal table. Now I am refreshing the internal table. Suppose I am writing clear for the name of internal table LD data. So up to this level, there are five records in the internal table. But whenever I will use clear, the internal table will become blank. There are zero records in the internal table. You can use refresh also. No problem. If I will write refresh, LT underscore data, one and the same thing. There's no difference. You can use clear also. You can use refresh also to set the contents of internal table to zero. But do not use refresh for work area. For work area, you only need to use clear, clear. For internal table, you can use clear also. You can use refresh also. But for work area, only clear, only clear. Suppose if I will show you the practical, I am putting a breakpoint on the clear statement. I am running the flow. I'll go to desktop three. Currently, I am on forty-three number line. The clear statement has not executed yet. If I will show you the internal table, internal table has five records as of now. Five records. Once I will execute this statement, you can see internal table has how many contents now? Zero. The same thing you can achieve through refresh also. If rather than clear, I will use refresh suppose at the first point. There is no difference. I'm running. I'll go to desktop three. Now internal table has five records. Now I'm using refresh. Now the internal table has how many records? Zero. If internal table has zero records, this loop will not continue. So there's nothing in the output. So you can clear the contents of internal table using clear or refresh the internal table contents will be set to zero. Now, in this video itself, we will cover one more internal table operation that is describe table. Describe table. Now, what is describe table internal table operation? It returns the number of records in the internal table. Suppose my internal table has 10,000 records. 
So with the help of this internal table operation, I can return 10,000. Suppose my internal table has 500 record. So this internal table operation, whenever I will apply, it will return 500. In our current scenario, we have how many records in the internal table? Five records. So it will simply return the result, what? Five. Now we will do the practical, then I will come on to the syntax. Now, as of now, up to this level, this is the internal table, which has five records. Now I will use describe table internal table operation to return the number of records of the internal table. So what is syntax for the same? Describe table. It is a keyword itself. But the name of internal table, LT underscore data. Now we have a keyword, lines. Now I am writing one local variable, LV underscore lines. So what is the syntax for the describe table statement? Describe table. Name of the internal table, the internal table for which you are displaying the number of records. Lines is the keyword. And then we declare, then we, I, then I have written one variable. This variable will return the number of records. So do I need to declare this variable? Yes, because I put this variable, it means I need to declare this variable. So I will declare this variable using data statement, data, LV underscore lines. Suppose I'm writing type I. I stands for integer. So far, you know, character data type, numeric data type, string data type. We have integer also. Integer is also a elementary data type. Now, many times people ask, you declare this variable of integer type. But why you have not given any length? Why you have not given any length? Because integer is a complete data type. Complete data type. There is no need to pass any length. Whenever you are declaring something of character type, numeric type, you are giving the length. You are giving the length. But in case of integer, there is no need to give the length. Suppose if I will give the length also, I will get a simple warning. You can see the warning is length has no effect in combination with integer. So if you are putting length also, there is no impact on integer data type. So whenever you have integer data type, there is no need to give the length. There is no need. Yes, it is an elementary data type. But it is a complete data type also along with that. Complete data type means we are not giving the length at all. Yes. Now, I will simply, simply write this variable. Because this variable will return the number of lines. So, I am writing write lv underscore lines. Now, for the bestest understanding, suppose... I will uncomment clear statement. Now, after clear, the number of records will become zero. So I will again display so that you can understand one time the result will be five. Next time the result will be zero, zero because there is nothing in the internal table. I'm checking the syntax and I'm activating. I'll put a breakpoint for the best understanding. I'll go to execute. I'll go to desktop 3. Now this internal table has 5 records. I'm currently on 44 number line. Describe table statement has not executed yet. If you see, this variable is blank as of now, 0. Now I am executing and have you seen the result is 5. Now I am displaying 5. Now we are clearing the internal table. Whenever I will clear the internal table, have you seen the number of records is 0? Whenever number of records is 0, 
So it will return how many records of the internal table? Zero record. So you can see now describe table return how many number of record? Zero. If I will execute, you can see first time the number of records records are five and the second time the number of records are zero. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we covered three internal table operation. What is first two? Clear and refresh. Anyways, they both fulfill same to same purpose. With the help of clear and refresh, you can set the contents of internal table to zero. You can reset the contents of internal table. Now, after that, we covered describe table, internal table operation. The purpose of describe table is to return the number of records in the internal table. And what is the syntax? Describe table is a keyword. Name of the internal table. Lines is a keyword. And then we declare one variable. That variable will return the number of records of the internal table. And one additional learning in this video, we covered integer data type also. Integer is also an elementary data type. But the most important point about integer is there's no need to pass the length. Length has no impact on integer data type. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will cover more importance, more internal table operations. Thank you.